side caps. So, so this one actually has a really neat story to go along with it. So I bought this cap. I did not know the history of it or anything like that. Not much about it. I thought I was just a, you know, a salty lift off a side cap. But then I posted it on some forums and then some of the guys on there recognized it. Well, one guy in particular, and he recognized it. And then this isn't just some random Joe Blow on the forums. Like, you take his word like gold. So he recognized this cap and apparently it passed through his hands and it was found in an attic. Um, I forget what the Russian town is called. I got it written down here. Uh, Pus Puskov? Puskov? I don't know. I, I can't really pronounce Russian, but that's the town it was found in. And then there wasn't really much air activity in that area, but the, but the main Luftwaffe activity in that area was the Luftwaffe Second Field Division. And I was doing some research and there was a town not far um, away from Pusco, you know, like about 20 miles or so, where the second uh, Luftwaffe Field Division was, you know, completely annihilated. And then, so, you know, I, so, you know, this camp was found in Pusco, but, you know, I, yeah, but just imagine the story this cap could tell, because it more than likely belonged to a Luftwaffe soldier in the second field division, but, I'll do um, um, like a history video on that battle and, and like what happened in the second division and how they were completely wiped out. Um, I'll save that for another day, but this video is going to mostly focus on the cap itself. So it's very salty, and you can tell it's been on that it's been in that Russian attic for a while. It's basically moth food at this point. Um, you can see the eagle here. Definitely the original applied insignia here. And see, you can't make really out, can't make out any details on the eagle anymore. And there's the cockade. There's not very much of the black left or the white. There's a little bit left of the red. But it is what it is. Now there's not very much wool left on the cap. At first, I, when I, when I was looking at the pictures, I thought it was an officer's side cap until I pulled down this right here until I pulled down that right there like, oh yeah it's just worn down you know yeah so now let's take a look at the inside and, the, and it is named on the inside it's a bit a lot more saltier on the inside has a letter B there and a name right there now, if I could make out the letters, which I can't because they're just fading <clears throat> or it's been washed out, but if I could, it, it would be really cool to see who this cap, you know, um, belonged to. I told her that wore this cap. And it has some field repairs right there. And it's coming apart in here. But yeah, this is definitely one of the more favorite pieces from that collection so yeah guys that is all for now thanks for watching stay tuned for some more videos